Welcome to the video. Today we're going to talk about consistent characters. And if you're watching this because you've been struggling with this one aspect of using Midjourney, you are in luck because I'm going to show you how to get the same character in different poses, in different expressions, doing different things, wearing different shirts, doing different activities, and have them all look relatively the same. And this is because we've got some new tools in Midjourney that really allow us to do this. And where we want to start is with the mood board. So mood board is a way that you can personalize, and that's where you find it, personalize. And I can turn this on and off, right? I've got it on, right? And if you want to, you can just start a mood board. And this is how both of these are generated. Or you can do a profile where you're actually uploading and giving mid-journey the images that you want. For our purposes today, we're using this style, which is create the mood board. And we do that just by ranking images. So if we go through these images and we would pick either one of these that we like, which one do we like the best? Maybe you don't like either one of these. Um, you just skip till you find the ones that you like. And, uh, you know, and we like the flying saucer, we like the rhinoceros, we like the police officer, whatever, right? We're telling Midjourney which of these images we like the best, okay? And the other uh, personalization board I have is Comic Illustration, okay? It works the same way where uh, I'm choosing these images that are based on the comic illustration style that I like. And if you don't like either image, don't pick it, right? Just skip over till you find the one that you like the best, and uh, then you can choose it, right? And then, it, and that way, everything within this mood board is kind of what you like as your personal kind of art aesthetic for what you're trying to create, right? And for me, I want to do a really nice comic book look, so that's what I'm looking for in these images. And sometimes they're here and sometimes they're not. You just got to pick the ones that you like, okay? Now, how does this all work? Well, let me show you. So we've got a prompt set up, old cowboy, black hat, headshot, comic book style illustration, expressive gaze. He's wearing a blue shirt. And we isolated on a flat white background just so we can do some things later if we need to. We have our creativity level set to 500. That's the S. That stands for stylize. We're using an S ref code, 384095537. This is a really nice comic book style S ref that gives you that look. So that's why we're using it. And then I've got both of my profiles set up. Now, Here's the fun part. I like to create using lots of images at once because I know that on a general, generally speaking, not every image is going to be a winner. And the more images that I can create at one time allows me to get to the end result quicker, right? So I like to use the repeat commands, which is just dash dash R. And then I could put a number in here and then that gives me then it tells Midjourney how many iterations that you want to do. And of course, default is one, but we don't need to put that in. So I could do two, I could do three, I could do four, I could do 20, okay? I've got the highest level plan of Midjourney, so I've got a lot of GPU time. If you have a lower tier plan, you might be just aware that the higher the number you pick, the more GPU hours you're using when you do this, minutes probably. So we wanna keep the number a little lower if that's you, right? I'm gonna do four and that's gonna give me four times four, which is 16. So when I hit go here, it's gonna give me 16 images of this cowboy. And then using that, I can pick which one or maybe two look the same and I can use that to create other images with later. Now, all of these are gonna be different, but they kind of have the same kind of look to them. And so what I'm looking for is something that I can use throughout a process here and really develop a lot of really great images with, right? 
which one do, do I like these the best? I kind of like the guy with the beard, but he's look he, this one he's looking kind of up a little bit, and this one he's looking up a little bit. So I'm going to pick this one, and I'm going to hit very strong a couple times to see if I can get this same guy looking a little different. I might even throw in a very subtle. And just to see what I can get with that, that's the very subtle right there. They kind of all look the same. And uh, here we go. We got uh, different poses, uh, and he's still kind of, it's still kind of a low angle kind of a look, but it's not as bad. And some of these you see his eyes. So we're just going to use this to start with, right? So we want to uh, give this guy an expression. So let's use the original image. Let's hit the prompt. Let's use the image. And then what we're going to say is we're going to, instead of expressive gaze, let's do a happy smile. He just won in poker, okay? And then we're also going to roll up and we're going to pick some of the images that we made that were just a little different. There's one with an eye. Let's get that one. I like that one. So let's get these three. And then one of the things we're going to do is we're going to use the C ref in the thumbnail here. If you pick this little button right there, that tells Mid Journey, hey, I really like the character. Keep it this way. We can we can change clothes and we could do some different things later. Okay. So I'm going ahead and we're also going to modify this using character weight 15. And that allows us to really kind of keep this consistent character going, right? So I'm going to keep with the theme and I'm going to repeat four of these real quick with this guy with, with a happy smile. And let's see what we get. Now, remember, I don't know what's going to happen. Some of these could be smiling. Some of these, maybe not. You never, you never really know this one. He's got a, he's smiling and got a gun. That's kind of crazy, right? So what do we get? So I think, some of these look exactly like we want, right? So let's let's look at this one, right? He's got a bandana, but he's got a smile. It's the same guy, right? So I really like how this turned out. So let's have the old cowboy. Let's give him a costume change and let's have him doing something, right? So we're going to we're going to pick the guy, right? And let's go ahead and hit the prompt. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use this image and let's use a couple more of the images. This one, maybe this one. Okay. And same thing. We're going to use the C ref part, right? But we're going to, we're going to say red shirt, right? And we're also going to change the aspect ratio. We want something a little bigger, right? Let's make sure we delete this. And then we're going to say or so. And happy smile, we're going to say gunfighter. So let's have them doing something, right? R4. Now, what you'll see is we're going to get the same character, but he's going to be wearing a red shirt and he's going to be uh, doing something with some guns, hopefully. Uh, here we go. And you can see it's the same guy. He's got a beard. He's got his black hat. Now he's wearing a red shirt. And, uh, you know, we get, we get some pretty good results, right? Is it perfect? No, we can always make changes. We can always use the editor command. You know, if you don't like the way the holster comes out or something, you can, you can make some changes. It's not that difficult. What really keeps your character consistent, though, is keeping the prompt simple. I didn't say plaid shirt or pattern shirt or rattlesnake bandana or any kind of crazy thing like that, because every single time mid is going to want to create something just slightly different, because that's what it does. It's an image generator. If you keep it the same, it allows you to keep your character with this kind of the same look and it's easier to be more consistent, right? So now let's let's do something with the cowboy and let's have him do a scene, right? So he's going to be black hat torso. We're going to say, let's see, uh, leaning on bar. And we're going to say uh, uh, cowboy 
saloon. We're going to give them a yellow shirt just to show you that it's possible to do this stuff because you know the guy doesn't always wear the same clothes. And let's also change the aspect ratio again. And let's get a, kind of a, a big chunky kind of thing there. Let's make sure we delete this. And uh, let's add some of these images to our prompt. I like that one. I like that one. That would be nice if you had a hand. You know, Mid Journey sometimes struggles with that stuff. All right. We're just going to use those two, right? But now it's important to remember that Mid Journey gives you results that, just like I showed you, you don't like. You don't have to choose them. This is the reason why I use the repeat command because this allows you to get more images to select from. Okay. Now, here we go. We're going to get our gunfighter in a saloon. Oh, you know, I forgot. I forgot to take out the flat white background. All right. We might have to adjust here because I goofed up, but I want to be transparent. That's what happened. Now we've got him wearing a yellow shirt. He looks like he's leaning on the bar. That's great. That's what we want. Sometimes your mistakes can pay off. Now, a lot of these, he's got a gun. We don't necessarily need that. Okay, so let's do this again. And uh, let's balloon scene background. And then let's pick a couple of these images that we liked. This one. He doesn't always need to be having a gun, right? Here we go. All right. So, all righty. So, a journey a lot of times is happy mistakes. And I think the background issue is from our, our SREF code. That's what's happening with that, right? Um, and I'm not a big fan of the blue hands here. Not sure what's going on with that. But as you can see, we're getting a very consistent look with the character. Now you just have some, we just have some issues with the background. And of course, Mid Journey have some hand issues. And I don't know why it's wanting blue gloves. Um, you know, I like that one. So anyway, uh, this is a, as you can see, this is a really easy way you guys can use to create consistent characters. What you just have to do is you just have to pick and choose which one you like. And if you find something that you like, but it's not exactly perfect, we can always edit it, right? And let me just show you that real quick. And so we go to the editor command, and then we can just say, hey, you know, we, we, don't, like, we don't like this hand. Let's take it out. Let's get another one. And that's just an easy way for you to get exactly what you want. So uh, this will load here in a minute. And uh, we're in a big chunky watch now. <laughs> so sometimes I got to do this multiple times. And I've done that over the years. And I don't know why. Uh, that's the reason why everybody's frustrated sometimes, right? And let's not avoid that fact. Let's embrace it. Mid Journey gives you the tools to correct it. Here we go. And there we go. There, there's our guy sitting at the bar, a new kind of a pissed off look. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching the video. If you want to uh, learn more about this and other tips, please subscribe to the Mid Journey Experience newsletter. Comes out weekly, delivered right to your inbox, only 12 bucks a month. So thanks a lot. Talk to you soon.